No! <laughs> what did you do for me? <laughs> no! Oh, no! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Welcome to Make Something. Today, we're gonna have some fun with some lava lamps. And today's video is brought to us by Squarespace. This is a series where we take cheap, ordinary items and turn them into priceless fine furniture and pieces of art. And today, we're gonna modify this lava lamp. Check it. I want this to fit into like this wooden cocoon, but it's a four-sided cocoon. And then the two sides are gonna kind of follow the curves and taper down and do this thing. The front and back will be flat, but they'll have a hole cut out of it where the belly of this is gonna be sticking out of that hole. I've got some really thick walnut that we got, if you remember, we got this walnut from the antique mall a few weeks ago. We can take this thick walnut, trace the contours on the side here and cut the out at the bandsaw. A lot can happen. A lot can go wrong. A lot can go right. We have our two curvy sides. This is looking really good. I, we just got started and I'm super excited. So these are gonna go on here like that. Now we get to work on the front and the back. So let's cut those out next. You know what? I'm wondering if on the sides here, maybe it should taper in just a little bit. I'm just gonna take a piece of construction paper and draw from here to here. It's like the paddle my principal used to use on us kids. You would never see that anymore. Did they still have paddles when you were in school, Daniel? I'm gonna cut a little teardrop so the belly of the lamp can stick out. And so this is gonna be purely decorative and psychedelic. This should sort of look like a blob of lava. and then that will go like that. So now I can trace this out onto there and then cut that out. There we go. <laughs> ah! <laughs> so we needed to film the intro to the video and it was taking too long to heat up. So I was taking a torch to the lava lamp and <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, oh no, ah, fuck. Does that mean we're quitting early today? No, we're going to Target to go get a new one. Darn. <laughs> Of course, Target didn't have any more lava lamps, so I had to go to the mall, Ugh. to Spencer's, and they had some. So we got a new lava lamp, $40 later. We've got the two sides here that wrap around like that, and then we have the front, but this base down here is interfering with the front. So we gotta take this apart and Chop up the base. Chop up the base is my new dance track. My new 2023 dance track. Chop up the base. Chop up the base. Chop up the base. Chop up the base. I'm having a hard time figuring out how to proceed. So we're just gonna glue these three pieces together. And that's gonna force me to make a decision. Chop up the base. All right, so we'll let that sit and dry for a little bit and figure out what the next step is gonna be. Now that that is in there, 
I'm getting a better sense of what's going on. And the glass all, comes all the way down to this part. So I think I'm gonna carve away a little bit more. This used to be covered up with that metal bottom. Where'd that, where'd that guy go? This part of the glass actually used to be covered up with this little cradle piece down here. But since we're not gonna use that, I can expose more of that so just a lot of uh a lot of shaping a lot of carving a lot of sanding and then on the sides i'm just going to start drawing some random size holes that we are going to drill and shape I got the back piece. I want this to be removable, so I need to add material up top and down here so I can have screws. Some of y'all are gonna be like, you should use magnets. There's a whole community of people who just love magnets. I'm not one of them. Back piece that is screwed on to there, it's flat, but you can, you can see the gap between the two pieces, unlike the front that is glued in the place. So I can't really hide that gap. So Daniel, what do we do when we can't hide something? We enhance it. Daniel, what do we do when we can't hide something? We enhance it. He's a slow learner. So I'm gonna put a little chamfer on the back edge of this, and that's just gonna create a little shadow line all along the back piece. Daniel, what do we do when we can't hide something? So we got the top part all done. Needs a little bit more love, but the basic shape is there. So now I need to create another little piece below this that's going to hold the light bulb. So I'm gonna line the inside of this with some foil tape just to kind of direct some of the heat from the lamp to the glass bottle. Some of y'all are gonna be concerned about a hot lamp inside the wood thing enclosed. It doesn't get that hot. It gets pretty warm, but it doesn't get that hot. It should handle it. I'll keep an eye on it. Best advice I can give you, don't try this at home. I'm a professionally trained YouTuber. I don't like the base. I don't like the squareness of the base. It doesn't match anything along the top. So I'm going to remake the base, but round. That is the curse of being me, is never being satisfied. To add a little bit of pop to this, I've got some, I've got some ideas, and the round base is gonna work better for those ideas. We'll get to those ideas when it's time to get to those ideas. I think this would be really cool as a desk lamp, so I'm gonna add a light socket to the top with a lampshade. I'm not this particular one, I think I'm gonna make a custom one, but I think this is going to just, mm, it's gonna make it look, mm. Before I work on the lamp part up top here, I'm gonna paint the inside of all these circles orange just to give it that pop. And while doing so, I'd like to tell you about today's sponsor, and that is Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to host your website where you can show off your work. They've got a number of galleries that you can use, all super easy. If you're on the social medias, you can bring in all those feeds onto your website, so your website is always fresh with your newest posts. Content forms are a breeze with Squarespace. You don't need to know a thing about coding, cloud, backend, any of that stuff. You can focus on your business and what you do best. Let Squarespace take care of your website. If you're looking to sell your work, you can do that with Squarespace, both physical and digital items. I sell PDF plans to the pieces that I make, and I also sell physical things like signed books and merch and t-shirts and all of that. I use a third party called Printful to print my t-shirts, and that integrates seamlessly with Squarespace. 
I can easily add new designs and I don't have to have a whole bunch of inventory up front. They are printed on demand. The way it works with Squarespace is it just makes my life a lot easier. And that's what your website should do. Make your life easier. Promote who you are and what you do. Visit squarespace.com and when you're ready to launch, visit squarespace.com slash make something for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you Squarespace for allowing me to experiment and make these videos possible. I've got the top part made that's going to hold the socket. I can feed the wire through there. It's end grain to end grain, so the glue is not gonna be super strong, so I'm also going to add a couple of screws. And I've got the screws poking out now, and that's going to allow me to know where to pre-drill these holes. And the screws will work as a clamp until the glue dries. I've been saying it for years, we finally have sand in the place, t-shirts available in my store. Check it. I wanna take some modeling clay and make it look like lava is dripping out of the belly here and onto the base and then oozing out onto the table. So I'm gonna work with that a little bit, paint it so it looks like it's the same color as the lava in the lamp and then coat it with a clear epoxy so it just shiny and it looks alive. Uh, the clay shrunk a little bit when it was drying and it came off the wood because the clay is water-based. And that's actually a good thing because that allowed me to epoxy it to the wood base there. It just looks like lava is just bleeding out of the belly, which is exactly what I wanted. So I got this lampshade here and all I want from this is the wireframe. Good enough. I was cutting towards myself, it slipped, and then I stabbed myself in the chest. So I'm gonna go to the hospital, I'll be right back. It's not a big deal, it's not a big deal. I'll be, <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> I ruined a perfectly good shirt. All good, new shirt, cleaned up. You got, if you got the right chemicals, blood cleans up real quick and easy. I'm just gonna trace the outline of this onto some veneer. There's going to be a taper, and then this has to be able to wedge itself to the top, and then this will need to wedge itself to the bottom. We're, we're using an LED light bulb, so it's not gonna get hot, and the hot glue is not going to melt. But if it does, it's just more, we're just adding more drips. This, this project is dripping. That's what the kids say, Daniel? Mm -hmm. That's just dripping. I thought I was done with the lampshade, but the veneer does not allow any light to come through at all. So I'm thinking I'm gonna cut some circles in here and then cover those circles with a thinner, lighter veneer that will allow some light to come through. So I'm using the Raja R400 to cut out some blobs that are meant to look like the spots on a cartoonish mushroom. Last thing we gotta do, add some finish, put it all back together, and light it up. Next, you should watch this video here where I take a cheap, ugly storage cart and turn it into beautiful, fine furniture.